everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's been a while since I've done a Lakers update, so let's do one today. Let's get started. The first thing I wanna talk about is LeBron James. Since my last update, LeBron James made his return to his hometown Cleveland for the first game since he's been with the Lakers against the Cleveland Cavaliers. No one really knew what to expect or how he was going to be accepted, if the fans were gonna be happy to see him and his teammates from the Cavaliers, how they were gonna react, but it was an amazing homecoming for LeBron. He actually was cheered by the fans when he walked on the out onto the court. Everyone was so happy to see him, so happy he was there to play. They all accepted very clearly the fact that he had switched to the Lakers and that they knew this must have been the best choice for him and his family. All of his teammates from the Cleveland Cavaliers were hugging him and high-fiving him and so happy to get to see him again. And the team also prepared a special tribute for him, which was played at the game of some of his finest moments playing with the Cleveland Cavaliers. It was really, really special and it was really touching. Of course, the Lakers did win the game, which was certainly helpful. The Cleveland Cavaliers have not been doing well at all since LeBron left, but it was a wonderful, fun return. It was heartwarming and touching to see how everyone accepted him and they were so happy to see him again. And while we're on the subject of LeBron James, it does appear that LeBron James is finally coming out bringing his best and he has just really shown that he knows how to turn it on when he needs to. They will be playing a game, they'll be struggling and all of a sudden it's like LeBron realizes, hey, I can do this, let's get this game won. He gets out there, he fights hard, he makes the baskets, he makes the passes, he works hard with his teammates and all of a sudden then they pull out a win, which is great because some of his teammates are relying on him to help them lead the Lakers to a win. And, by the way, the Lakers have been doing so much better since my last update. They are currently 14 wins and 9 losses. They are doing amazing. They still struggle at times, and man, are they frustrating. Bill and I, when we're watching the games, we always tell the Lakers that we are looking for a game that is restful, not stressful. Because sometimes they get so far down and they have to work so hard to get back, and they do end up winning in the end. And yes, all you have to win by is one, and that's fine. Fine, but sometimes we just wish they would come out playing hard from the very beginning so they aren't constantly trying to fight to get the game back towards the end of the game and it is so stressful but they've been doing so much better they've been learning to work together as a team and I'm really excited about it also since my last update we have a new player on our team his name is Tyson Chandler and he is one of the defenders who has been brought to the Lakers to help JaVale McGee and he has been successful and wonderful for the Lakers Chandler was previously with the Phoenix Suns from 2015 to 2018 and on November 4th 2018 they reached a buyout agreement and he left the Suns which made him available the Lakers got him right away, which was amazing because he has been very, very helpful. He has been able to defend the rim when JaVale needs to take a break. He actually has been able to make rebounds, baskets. He has been a great asset to this team and we are so happy to have him. Tyson Chandler has been playing in the NBA since 2001 when he was first drafted by the Chicago Bulls. He has been playing for 17 years and he is still playing amazing. Although the Phoenix Suns basically retired him in reaching a buyout agreement, the Lakers have been so happy to have him as a member of their team and we're happy he's there as well because he has been a great asset to this team. Another update for you is that Rajon Rondo is injured and has not been playing since the game against the Portland Trail Blazers on November 14th. At that game, Rajon uh, fractured his third metacarpal in his right hand and had to undergo surgery. He is recovering. He's actually recovering quicker than they thought. They didn't think he would be back out on the court until sometime well after Christmas and they're hoping that he'll be back before Christmas now. Since his injury, Rajon has been at every game on the sidelines wearing a snazzy suit and still there to help lead the team. Of course, he's been such a great leader this season and really trying to pump up the team, talk about plays, help them when they're going out there, and he's still there to do that. He just hasn't been on the court to play, but we're hopeful that he will be back soon. The next game for the Lakers is Wednesday, December 5th, and they're going to be playing the San Antonio Spurs. 
The Spurs are currently 11 and 12, so I am hoping to bring home another win on Wednesday. The one thing that we're hoping to change soon, and I don't know how they're gonna do it, but they are doing terrible from the free throw line. They have been below 50% in almost every game, which is awful. Free throws should be the easiest thing for them to do. There's no one in their way. They're standing there, they can take their time, shoot the basket and it seems like the majority of the time it should just go in. Most teams are closer to 80% from the free throw line, but unfortunately, the Lakers have struggled. Every once in a while, they pull it together when they're doing really well and they have a little more confidence. It seems like those are the days that they're able to make their free throws a little better, but I'm hoping that they can settle down a little bit now that they're learning to play together as a team, relax and make those free throws because those really count as well as the number of turnovers. Unfortunately, they still cannot quit throwing away the ball. And every time they do that, it gives the other team an opportunity to score and pull ahead, unfortunately. So if they can work on their turnovers, if they can work on their free throws, maybe that will make things be a little bit easier on them so they're not constantly fighting to come back from behind. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed the updates. Don't forget to check back because I will continue doing updates throughout the season. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!